Chapter 6 Merchandising Company Accounting for Purchases This chapter is the start of your understanding of a merchandising company and the complexity it brings. The concept behind a merchandising company is the buying and selling of merchandise inventory. How does this business make a profit? When a company purchases the items for sale at wholesale price or at a discounted price and then sells them at a higher marked up price, that's when the profit is generated. And the faster the turnover of this merchandise inventory, the better financial results are achieved. Some very popular and good examples of merchandising companies are Amazon, Walmart, Walgreens, Macy's and others. Proper accounting principles and practices must be in place to achieve success. Transitioning from your name MD, a service business from chapters 1 through 5, you will now start your own merchandising company called Your Name Drugstore. In this chapter, you will have the practice of setting up a new company from the chart of accounts provided by Sage 50. You will set up a few merchandise inventory and mark the selling price for each item. It is important that you read and understand the chapter discussions, particular emphasis on the two methods of inventory valuation. For purposes of this practice set, the perpetual inventory method will be used in the application. Let us begin by setting up your new merchandising company. Working on problem 6-1, you want to create a new company and then click next. On company name, type in your name drugstore. On the address line, I'm going to use the Cheyenne campus address 3200 East Cheyenne Avenue, North Las Vegas, Nevada. That's 89. 030. On the business type, you want to select sole proprietorship. On federal ID, enter 88 600 On state employer ID, enter 08-1689.00 On State Unemployment ID, enter 11-0219.52 and click Next. On Select a Method to Create Your Company, it defaults that use a sample business type that closes, closely matches your company. Most companies choose this. Click Next. On select a business type, scroll down and select drugstore. Note that the chart of accounts on the right will populate for the selected business type. Then click next. On choose an accounting method, it defaults at the cruel. Most companies choose this. Click next. On choose a posting method, it defaults at real time. Most companies use this. Click Next. On Choose an Accounting Period, it defaults at 12 monthly accounting periods per year. Most companies you choose this. Click Next. On Choose the First Period of your fiscal year, it defaults in January. Just change the year to last year and click Next. You are now ready to create your company and click Finish. Wait for the system to create your new company. Then close the pop-up screens on the setup guide. Working on problem 6-2, since you have selected to adopt the chart of accounts from the sample business provided by Sage 50, you will have to edit and, some, and add some accounts to match the balance sheet account names of your business. Before you enter the beginning balances of the accounts, which came from the balance sheet of Chapter 5 and is shown in this chapter, follow the steps provided on Problem 6-2, letters A to L. 
I will illustrate the first one and you can complete the rest. On maintain, click the chart of accounts. On the account ID, select the first account ID, 10,000. That is, description was petty cash. Edit the account to read just cash. So you're deleting the first word, petty, and click save and new. The next account ID is 10,100. The description is cash on hand. Edit the description to read petty cash. Then click save and new. You can follow the concept of adding and or editing the same accounts to match the balance sheet accounts completing problem 6-2, numbers 3 and 4. This way you will get to know more of your different accounts as provided by Sage 50. Once you have completed all the accounts on the setup, you are wanting to set up the beginning balance. So, on the first account, select Cash and click the tab Account Beginning Balances. Scroll to select January 1st of last year and click OK. This brings you to a new screen where the white cells will allow you to enter the beginning balances from the balance sheet. Starting with the Cash account, enter the balance of one hundred seventy one thousand one hundred forty one and forty four cents on petty cash enter three hundred dollars then you want to go on and enter every one of them so select accounts receivable that's eighteen thousand four hundred forty nine and thirty six cents then you want to scroll and keep on looking for the next accounts and the next one you have your medical supplies. You want to enter every one of them on the white cells on the left representing assets and expenses and on the right representing liabilities, equity and the income account. When you get into your accumulated depreciation, you wanted to enter them as a positive amount, even if on the balance sheet it is negative. Once you have entered everything else correctly, you will note that the total represents your balance left side and right side and the trial balance total is zero. That means that's your indication that you are in balance. The total asset column and expenses on the left is 284,661, which is the same total on the right side. You can close off of the screen and you can set up the vendor's records and balances. On maintain, click vendors. On vendor ID, use the vendor's initial. For the first vendor and their LVMS representing Las Vegas Medical Supplies. And you wanted to enter the expense account is defaulting, select that to be 12,000 which is the inventory drugs account. Remember that this practice set uses perpetual inventory method, meaning every time you purchase inventory, it goes to the GL12000 inventory account. Then on the purchase info tab, you wanted to select the customer custom terms for the item, for the vendor, and that would be the 10% at one, 10 days at 1%. You are wanting to also change the setup for the pop-up reminders on the credit limit. Completing the setup of the vendors with the beginning balances and those vendors with no beginning balances. Be sure to follow the steps accordingly and then you will set up the inventory items. Starting with the first one, you select 
inventory which is the one two three four five that's the inventory ID representing also your barcodes in the actual practice then we'll call this the cough medication which is the description of the item then you wanted to scroll down and look for the stock item that's under the item class on price level one enter eight dollars this is the sales price that management had decided to sell this particular product. Note that when you click the side drop arrow, you can also enter either other price levels and select them during certain discount days. Then click Save and New. You can continue on the process until all the inventory items B to E has been completed. Observe that on the real business world, this process is just time consuming because of the volume of inventory items that you need to keep track. But once they have been established, the daily recording of transactions will come in easy. This practice set will limit the inventory items that just to give users an idea of how transactions flow within the accounting period. Then at this point, once you have already set up your new merchandising company, enter the beginning balances from the balance sheet, set up the vendor's beginning balances and new vendors with no balances and have entered the inventory items. Now you can set up the different transactions. Understanding of the chapter discussion will facilitate the recording of the transactions. Remember that this practice set is using perpetual inventory. As noted, businesses develop relationships with their vendors by establishing a good line of credit to allow the need for not having immediate cash on hand. Therefore, businesses purchase merchandise inventory on account. This method would allow the delivery of these inventory items and sell them to customers with payments to be made in a future date. So, starting with the first purchase, you want to go to task and Go to task and click purchases receive inventory. Understand that the real business world big corporations establish another level of internal control that is creating a PO or purchase order to the vendors. And when the delivery arrives with the delivery receipt, a received inventory entry is recorded. This additional level of control will track the exact inventory and count the items delivered. Because of the volume ordered in the PO, sometimes the vendors could not deliver all the quantity in one shipment. Thus, recording the quantity received is important for both warehouse count and the accounting side of the liability of the vendors. To save time in recording this practice set, you will assume that all purchases have been received in one shipment, which is now establishing that the full amount of the invoice is a liability owed to the vendor. So I will illustrate the first one on December 1st, a thousand units of pain medication from Las Vegas Medical Supplies. 1, 10, and 30 are the terms. Invoice number 10041. And that represents a unit price of two dollars. You will note that two dollars, two thousand dollars, will automatically appear. Um, invoice number two zero zero four one. Two thousand will appear, and you can save this and go to the next transaction. Remember, saving means completing the posting process. So complete the rest of the transactions. And once you have completed all the entries, you can verify your purchases journal. 